Well, one of the many highlights of Cyboss is meeting the STARS scholars. They're part of the Cyboss Talent Accelerator route, which aims to empower the female leaders of tomorrow. The program offers a wealth of education, meaningful business experience, collaboration with the global financial community and networking with senior industry figures. And we last night spoke to two star scholars and I'm delighted to be joined by two more. Boost Demare, uh, Deputy Regional Manager at Actif Bank and Christabel Tan, Regional Sales Manager at Global Payment Solutions at the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation Limited. Well, hi to both of you. Thanks so much for joining us. Hello. Thanks for having us. So it's the end of day two uh, at Cyboss. Uh, what have been your key takeaways so far? Well, it has been a really energetic environment. For me personally, it has been like a two-day non-stop brainstorming session because I got to meet a lot of interesting people and the conversations that we had, even on the elevator, made me gain new insight on the sector and I've really been enjoying it. Mm. Christabel, what, uh, what experiences, what topics within Cybos have been most impactful uh, for you today? And what are you going to carry away from this year's event, do you think? Mm, so it is by first Cybos ever, so it's been incredibly exciting. I think when I first arrived here on the first day, I was really in awe of all the huge booths and also the volume of people in the conference. But I think because of that also, I had the opportunity to have many conversations and network with different people from all over the world. And I've had many conversations that I'll carry with me for a long time. And also I think the theme of collaboration and collaborative finance has been something that um, is really exciting. I think we see um, banks and regulators alongside SWIFT coming together to address key topics um, such as uh, digital technology and also intelligent technology yesterday at the panel and also seeing countries work alongside each other to build the G20 targets. I think all of this really underpins the industry's commitment towards um, building a world and addressing the existing challenges in our payment systems. So all of this has been huge takeaways for me and I'm excited to see what's to come the next two days as well. Mm. Let's talk about the STAR program. Uh, what effect has the STAR program had uh, on you and, and how has it motivated you? So I've always believed that ever since we were little, we've all been prescribed with the same kind of pad or like a checklist per se in order to be successful. In the STAR program, there are a lot of women who are very successful and who are great at what they're doing and they all have different stories and they all come from different places. So this has motivated me to see that I can be my own person and eventually I will get there and I will be successful and I will be respected and be praised for who I am. So I'll stick to my own plan. Mm -hmm. And Christabel, if I can ask you the same uh, question uh, really, what, what has the programme brought to you as a high potential professional in your industry? Well, I would say, I think at the start of this programme, I've been really humbled by the whole experience because I feel that I have so much more to learn and grow. Um, but I think that's also exactly the benefit that this programme has brought to me so far. So I think the ability to listen to industry experts addressing key topics that are top of mind for the bank and also its clients, um, all of this really equipped me with the right knowledge to be able to um, speak with clients and engage on, with them on these topics. So it really helps me bring that client-centric approach in my work on a day-to-day -day basis as well. And I think also um, being able to have access to leaders from top institutions. Um, actually, we've just come from our first mentoring session. So we've had a lot of empowering conversations going on. And also beyond that, I think just being able to connect with my peers globally, um, it really helps to build a support system that I know I can tap into during the course of my career. Mm, yeah. You both talked about uh, meeting uh, women uh, who have helped empower you. But uh, Christelle, what would you like to see uh, changing in the industry to support more diversity throughout financial organizations? Mm, I think the industry has made progress and I think the STAR, exam uh, the STAR program is a great example of that. So I hope to see more mentorship and sponsorship programs follow in the future as well to empower women. So the reason why I feel that diversity is so important, whether we are talking about cultural diversity or gender diversity, um, what we ultimately achieve out of all of this um, is always the diversity of perspectives. And this is so important because at the intersection of all of these um, different ideas and viewpoints, it really helps to accelerate innovation which is so crucial for our world today. Um, so that's why I hope that there will be more initiatives um, towards not just bring about awareness, um, but also to instill a culture of inclusivity. 
And, uh, and, and the same question over here, uh, uh, it's diversity is such a huge topic of Cybos uh, this year. Uh, what are your thoughts? Where do your thoughts lie? Well, apart from agreeing with everything my colleague Christabel has <laughs> stated, uh, yes, it is a very important issue. And as, term, as far as I'm concerned for the STAR program, I think that the conversation has been really diversified and I think it has a very big impact on other events and organizations and they should be motivated by the STAR program of Cybos. So I really praise Cybos for doing it. And also I can only hope that this will continue to grow in the upcoming years. Okay, let's talk a little bit about business and some of the things that you've learned and heard uh, in the last couple of days. Any trends or technologies uh, that you believe will have a future, uh, a significant impact on the future of payments? Um, and, and how are you preparing to adapt to them? I think now more than ever, there have been just so many developments in this space. So it's really an exciting time for me. Um, but I think one of the things that I feel is really huge and a great game changer would probably be probably be real-time payments. Um, I think it really has the opportunity to unlock um, many potential opportunities for both businesses and consumers alike. Uh, and then when we take that and we combine it with sort of the move towards harmonization of global payment systems, I think starting with um, the standardization of payment messaging with the ISO 20022 and also the G20 roadmap, um, all of these things really shows the industry's commitment to it and also the potential and innovation that we can really bring about in the world today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so for me, I'm trying to adapt to this by really just staying updated on all of these trends also and challenging the norm. I think that's the best way I can think of to really try and keep up with all this. But yeah, I'm quite excited for all of the things that are to come. And finally, and, and, and briefly, because your, your education didn't suggest uh, you were going to pursue uh, a career in, in banking as a, as a banker. What made you pursue this? What made you change track? So I actually studied international relations and political science in college and I spent my whole college life broadcasting for our university's radio and uh, preparing social responsibility projects. And before that, I was really into debating for the model United Nations and also theatrical arts. And so all of my interests have been really contrasting with each other throughout my whole life. But working in the FI and being uh, really social with other bankers in the industry and getting to see what my work does for them in the exact moment has really motivated me. And I believe that this business is the common ground for all of my interests that I've had so far. Although I wouldn't have believed if anyone told me that I would be working in FI 10 years ago and I would be very happy, I think that this is the best suit for me. It sounds like you both have a bright future ahead of you. Bruce Demaray, Deputy Regional Manager at Active Bank, and Christabel Tan, Regional Sales Manager at Global, of Global Payment Solutions at the Hong Kong and Shanghai Banking Corporation Limited, are stars of Cybos. Thanks so much and all the best to both of you. Thank, Thank you. you very much.